Hello there, Angelfire here, and welcome back to Starbound Nightly News. This show aims to help you keep up to date and pacing on the telepad for every stable release that comes your way. And come your way it has. Say hello to Please Giraffe, the successor to Spirited Giraffe, which brings with it some very interesting changes. First off, all of the changes listed in the previous video have been pushed through to this update, so go ahead and check that video out to catch up on some of the smaller features that have been added in. Many of the changes leading up to this stable build have just been little tweaks. UI interfaces now have separate colours so that you can tell them apart more easily, and the inventory interface has been neatened up. Not just neatened up though, there is now a third inventory section designed specifically for decorative things, and with the introduction of the new Instant Item Sorting button at the bottom right, you can keep everything clean and tidy. Items will now go straight into your inventory, meaning your hotbar won't get cluttered, and you can make sure it only has what you need to keep around. Speaking of which, there's more you'll want to keep around if you're terraforming now. With an overhaul to the way plants work, tilled soil now needs watering via watering can, rain or water, and included are new grass seeds for planting your own grass. Goodbye mud, hello luscious green fields! And hello to parallax changes. The arid savanna biome got an update alongside the misty forest biome, helping to immerse you in the atmosphere. Another change is that characters now start on separate worlds. Playing through the first planet now really feels like you're visiting someplace untouched and beautiful. But undoubtedly the biggest new part of the update are the NPCs. They will now interact with objects and other NPCs, for example playing on arcade machines or chatting to each other. They have expressions too. Happiness, sadness, you'll be able to tell what they're feeling at a glance. Expressions, though, are nothing on the new colonization system. Buy a colony deed and some furniture at the outpost, put it down in a viable house and you'll get a tenant NPC, who will generally be themed after the blocks and objects you use to make the house. With theme in mind, every tenant you get is randomly generated, so each one will be a different person. After a while, tenants will give you presents in the form of pixels or items to thank you for building them somewhere to live. It really gives building huge cities a raison d'etre, at least to me. Now I could go on and on about the added details to this stable update, but the best way to witness it is to go out and play it yourself. If you need any more information as to what's been added to the stable update, a link will be in the description. Again, if you'd like to help support me and keep this series going, then like this video or comment below as to what games you think I should review or look at. As again, thanks for watching, I've been Angelfire, and I hope you'll tune in next time. <laughs>